All right, so let's add something up top here so that way our cams aren't just bouncing around for no reason. Uh, in my example, I just made some hands real quick. So let's, let's do that. So let's make a hand. All right, I'm going to hit Create. Again, don't make a hand. Make whatever you want. I'm going to type in hand. And do, do, do. That all looks good. Hit OK. It says, hey, where do we want to start drawing? Let's just pick this face. Doesn't matter. And let's start a sketch. Now, it's kind of nice to draw here in the assembly because then I can, you know, make sure my hand's not like, you know, this big and my box is this big, right? So you can kind of get some size relations and get everything. So I want it to be, you know, about that big. So I'm just going to start drawing. It doesn't really matter where you draw. You know, I could draw it over here, I could draw it over here, it doesn't matter. Um, so let's just kind of eyeball it right here. Now this, I'm not doing anything fancy, I am just going to make it really quick. Um, neat little tool, if I go up here to rectangle and I go down to slot, so what slot will do is like a rectangle with rounded edges, so useful tool sometimes. <laughs> so I'm just going to make some fingers real quick. Do... Please don't make middle fingers. All right. I'm going to hit finish sketch. Yes, I know I'm missing a finger. That's OK. We're just having fun. Let's. Let's extrude all of these pieces. Now when I extrude this, because there's circles that intersect with each other, you need to make sure that, you know, if I get this part, I also get that part. So I just want to do everything. And let's do it all. Let's do three quarters of an inch since we have a lot of three quarter inch material. All right, so there's a hand. Uh, I think in my example, I also like inset a little bit. So let's start a sketch. Let's click here. So the way I did that is if I want to get what's already there, remember you got that project geometry button. So I can project that geometry. It's going to get that outline. I'm going to use the offset. Click my line and I'm going to come in. I don't know, 0.0125. I don't know. No. Let's undo that. Offset. Point. Let's do point one. Sure. Finish sketch. Let's extrude. Let's make that part go in. Uh, point one. You know, this just kind of gives it another look. You know, if you're 3D printing it, it's gonna make it look a little bit better. Uh, let's round off some of the fingers and everything. Let's use this fillet tool. So fillet and sure eighth of an inch, you know, just kind of playing around. None of this is necessary. But it makes it look a little bit better. All right. And what do we need on the bottom? We need a quarter inch hole on the bottom to insert it. All right, so how are we going to do that? How are we going to add a quarter inch hole? I'm going to start a sketch. Actually, here, let me return. I'm going to open this part up just so I can work on it by itself. And I want to add a quarter inch hole on the bottom there. But you'll notice if I go to start sketch, I can't draw on that rounded surface. I need to make what's called a plane. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a plane. So I'm going to hit, choo -choo, let's turn on escape. Let's hit plane. And what I want is I want, let's see here. I want tangent to surface and parallel to a plane. This is what I want because I want to make a flat plane on the bottom to draw it. So I want to click my surface here and I need to know what plane that needs to be parallel to. So 
since I don't have any straight lines, let's come over here and let's click. Should be working. Plane. YZ plane right there. All right. So first I click the YZ plane, then I click my rounded edge. Now it gives me a flat surface to draw on. I'm going to start a sketch. I'm going to draw on here. I'm going to make a circle somewhere on the bottom. Doesn't matter where. 0 0.25. I'm going to extrude that in. I don't know, let's say uh, 0.75 inches. Doesn't matter. Nope. And if you don't want to look at this plane anymore, again, over here, right click. There should be a visibility button. Now that's invisible. So now if we go back to our assembly, that hole is right there. And let's constrain, insert this hole onto here. Flip it whichever way it needs, hit apply. Let's make another copy real quick. Bring another hand over. Constrain, constrain, insert. Here, here, hit apply. And now we should have something that waves. Hooray!